Welcome to the Crash Test Security Suite. Through our automated pen testing solution, you'll be able to secure your web apps, single page JavaScript applications, and REST APIs through continuous automated pen testing. My name is Jacob, and I'll be showing you how to register, get your first scan set up, use our advanced configuration options, and review your scan results. Let's get started. From our website, you can get immediate access to the security suite by clicking free trial. First, I'll be asked to enter my email and name for the account. Then I'll create a password. Finally, I'll add my phone number in case I need to be contacted for support. After entering this information, I'll receive an activation email. From the activation email, I'll activate my account and I'm in. Once you log in, the first thing that you'll see is the toolbar on your left and your dashboard. From the toolbar, you're able to view your scan targets, manage your teams, and also access our knowledge base as well as get support. If you'd like a little bit more screen real estate, you can also click the toolbar aside with this button. The bell at the top right of the screen will notify you if any new scans have been completed since you last logged in. By default, you will also automatically receive an email when a scan is complete, and notifications can be integrated into many of the most popular chat tools, on the dashboard, you'll see a summary of findings from your most recent scan, as well as all of your scan targets. For each scan target, you'll be able to see different information, including the type of scan target, when it was last run, and what the findings were for the most recent scan. Additionally, for each scan target from the dashboard, you're able to start the scan, download the most recent scan results, as well as update the scan preferences, duplicate the scan, delete the scan, or request a certificate for the scan. Below the dashboard, you'll see all of the findings for the most recent scan that was run. We'll look at this more later when we review the findings for the scan that we start ourselves. Starting your own first scan is simple. Just click the yellow plus sign in the bottom right corner to kick off the process. We offer scanning for both web applications and REST APIs. For web apps, you only need the target URL and for REST APIs, we also require the API specification file. Today, I'll be starting a web application, so I'll select web application here and then continue to move on to the next step. Here, you'll be asked to provide the details for the scan, including the title, a description, and the scan URL. So I'll add in my information here, and this can always be changed after the fact. So now that I've added my scan target details, then I'll click continue to move on to the next step where I specify the target scan scope. We offer two different types of scans, a non-invasive quick scan that usually takes between two and 10 minutes to run and an invasive full scan, which can take a bit longer, but puts your application through our most rigorous tests, including testing for SQL injection, cross-site scripting, and file inclusion vulnerabilities. When doing a full test, we require that the scan target be verified by either adding a unique file to the root directory of your web application or by updating your API endpoints to include one of our unique GET commands. We do this to make sure you are truly the owner of the site you want to test. Full scans can be taxing on web apps and sometimes result in slower performance. Because of this, we recommend performing these scans on test environments or that the scan preferences be updated accordingly. I'll show you how to do that a bit later on. Since I just want to do a quick overview for my vulnerabilities, I'll stick with a quick scan for now. And as we scroll down, we can also see all of the differences and the different vulnerability tests that are performed on both a quick scan and a full scan. And that's it. Now I can either choose to start my scan right away or schedule it to begin at a certain time. I'll go ahead and start. After starting the scan, I'll see a graphical representation of the scan progress and what specific scanners are currently running. The crawler and the scanners dependent on it require a full verified scan to be run. Quick scans can always be converted to a full scan at any time, so you don't have to enter the same information twice. Now that you know how to get started with a new scan, I want to show you how to tweak your scan target to meet your needs. By scrolling up to the top and clicking the scan name in the breadcrumbs, you'll be taken to an overview for all scans that have been performed on this scan target. By clicking Preferences here, you can see all of the configuration options that we offer. In our General Preferences, you can update the name and description of the scan by clicking this pencil here. Additionally, you can also update the Crawler mode. We currently offer a Smart Crawling mode and an Exhaustive mode. 
The smart crawling mode will try to detect forms that appear on multiple sites and only scan them once. This results in a more efficient scan. However, if you have forms that appear on multiple sites that are processed differently, the exhaustive mode is the best option for you and will scan every form regardless of if it appears on multiple sites. We also allow for updating the throttling rate or the number of requests that we are sending to your web app per second. If you're concerned about the performance issues for your site, you can reduce this value to a lowest value of 50 or increase it to increase the speed of the scan. Next, I'll move to our configuration options. If your web app communicates with API endpoints on a different subdomain, the allowed URL section will give you the chance to add and scan these endpoints as a part of the scan. To prevent certain actions from being triggered in other applications, you can also specify the URLs that should be blocked when the scan is being performed. Now I'll move to our authentication settings. Sometimes users with access to your system are able to carry out attacks that those without access can't. To make sure that you're receiving a comprehensive view of your site's vulnerabilities, you can add authentication information to the scan. We support HTT basic authentication, application authentication with a URL, and parameter authentication for get parameters, cookies, and JWT tokens. My application uses an application login URL, so I'll use application authentication to add that login information to my scan. I'll come and add the login page here, and then add the test username and test password. And the information's been added to the scan. To ensure continuous vulnerability testing, we recommend scheduling your scan to run at regular intervals so that you have a constant overview of your app's vulnerability landscape. You can do that by scheduling a scan. Say for instance, I live in Helsinki and want to schedule a scan to run every Saturday at 11 p.m. I can do that here. I'll change the frequency to weekly, update the time zone to be Europe, Helsinki, specify which weekday I want the scan to run, Saturday, and then specify the time that I want the scan to run, 23 o'clock. We want security to become an integral part of your development process. To achieve this, we offer custom integrations into the most popular CI-CD systems, as well as a general webhook if a custom integration isn't offered. You can access this information from the integration section of the scan preferences. To start setting up an integration, select your build system and follow the detailed instructions to get the integration up and running. Once the integration is implemented, scans can be started based on specific build steps in your build system, and JUnit files containing the scan results can be pulled back in to make sure that new releases aren't introducing new vulnerabilities. If you're living in a post-email world, then we have you covered. Set up an integration with the most popular chat systems around to get informed about the scan results via chat. The same holds here. We have unique integrations for each chat system with detailed instructions on how to set them up. Securing your web app is a collaborative effort, and you'll probably want to manage your team and make sure your colleagues can have access to the crash test security as well. To manage your team, jump to the Teams activity on the left toolbar. Here, you can edit your team, add new team members, and see the different user roles available within the crash test security suite. Now that our scan's done, let's jump back in and review the results. By clicking on the scan target, we see an overview of the most recent scan. By clicking on the scan itself, we're able to see all of the results. At the top of the page, you can download a PDF report of the scan, a JUnit file, or a CSV file. As we move lower, we can see summary statistics for the scan and each individual vulnerability found. The findings can be filtered by title, their description, or their severity. So you can easily find all of the high severity findings or search for specific findings, such as an X frames option header finding. For each and every vulnerability, we offer comprehensive resolution paths and links to our knowledge base to help you resolve issues without having to have an in-depth security background. You'll also notice the I available for each finding. This allows you to mark a finding as a false positive, a risk that you're willing to accept, or simply a finding that you won't fix. Let's say, for instance, that we know that these ports are open and we don't want to fix them. We'll mark this as won't fix, and in the future, this finding will not appear in future reports, but we'll still be able to see it in the ignored findings here. From the scanner status tab, we'll be able to see all of the scanners that were used in the last test, as well as the number of attack vectors 
and the total number of requests sent. Since we only did a quick scan, several of the scanners were not run here. Lastly, we displayed the different URLs scanned as a part of the target and on which URLs there were findings. As you've seen, the Crash Test Security Suite is intuitive and delivers powerful results quickly, so get started with your first scan today.